of substitution techniques. There are six type of substitution technique. Today I am going to teach you one time paired cipher means one up cipher. One time paired also called OTP. It is called a uh, one up cipher or the perfect cipher is a crypto algorithm where plain text is combined with the random key. The key is at least as long as message or data that must be encrypted. Each key is used only once and both sender and receiver must destroy their key after use. So this is the very uh, secure cipher method. There should only be two copies of the key, one for the sender and one for the receiver. Rules for encryption. Encryption process. First of all, assign a number to each character of the plain text like A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1 as per given table. So as per the table. Rule number 2. Assign a number to each character of the plain text and the key according to the alphabetical order. For example, my plain text is this and key is this. Now uh, replace character or alphabet with the below table with number. Now you can see over here. Rule number 3. Add both the number corresponding plain text character number and key character number. So add the, uh, this number 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. So same as 0 plus 13 is equal to 13. So add plain text plus key. <coughs> Rule number 4. Sub subtract. The number from 26 if the added number is greater than 26. Now see the example. So uh, if any number more than 26 as per the above rule. So this is 31. So sum minus 26 if sum greater than 25. So now you can see over here. So it is 5, 2 and 0. So this is the cipher text. My cipher text is I N F I C I X L A T N. So number replaced with letter. <coughs> decryption process. Same as the first rule for the encryption. Uh, assign a number to each character of the cipher text and key according to alphabetical order. So same as the encryption process rule. So this is my cipher text. This is my key. And replace alphabets with the numbers. Third rule. So this is the reverse process of encryption. So you can see over here. Uh, in encryption process, there is plain text plus key. In this process, a decryption process, cipher text minus key. So you can see over here. This is my answer, cipher text minus key. If any number is less than 0, now you can see this, minus 14 and minus 13 and minus 18. These three numbers are less than 0. Add 26 in the number and otherwise left it as it is. So plus 26, plus 26, plus 26 and this number replaced with letter. See the outline of this video is Hill cipher rules for encryption and decryption. Second one, example of Hill cipher encryption and decryption using 2 cross 2 key matrix. Third one, example of Hill cipher encryption using 3 cross 3 key matrix. And the last one is exercise of Hill cipher. Now let us start with types of symmetric cipher. There are basically two types of symmetric cipher. First one is substitution cipher and second one is transposition cipher. The definition of substitution cipher means substitute or we can say replace given letter with numbers, another letters or special symbols. It is called substitution cipher. Uh, for example, here ABC is the plain text. So uh, character A is replaced with X, uh, character B is replaced with Y and character C is replaced with Z. So here ABC is replaced with XYZ. So ABC is the plain text and XYZ is the cipher text. Second one, transposition cipher. In transposition cipher techniques, there is no replacement or substitution, only to change the position of the given letter or characters. So it means, for example, a, B, C, D, E is the given plain text. Now change the position of this A, B, C, D, E letters and it generates cipher text. Now see in this example, this is the plain text and this is generated cipher text. There is no replacement or no substitution. Types of substitution techniques. So there are six types of sub substitution technique. First one is scissor cipher. Second one is monoalphabetic. Third one is polyalphabetic. Fourth one is Playfair cipher, fifth one is one time paired cipher and the sixth one is Hill cipher. In this video we are going to discuss about Hill cipher and 
above five techniques are already discussed and videos are available in my channel. Let us discuss with Hill cipher. Hill cipher is polyalphabetic substitution cipher because a character is replaced by another character and polyalphabetic means if you want to generate cipher text you must have use multiple letters not a single letter one uh, one letter from the plain text and one letter from the key matrix second one this technique was developed by mathematician lester hill hill cipher is based on linear algebra uh, input of these techniques are keyword it means the key given in the matrix form and the plain text so you must have to uh, change or we can say convert plain text into matrix form so keyword is given in the matrix form rules of encryption is as follow encryption and decryption so hill cipher rules for the encryption the first rule is assign a number to each character of the plain text like a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 up to z is equal to 25 so here i have prepared one table now you can see over here a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to 2 up to given number is z is equal to 25 so all the numbers given in the sequence from 0 to 25 to alphabets a to z now for example plain text is equal to sunday so what happened s is equal to 18 s is equal to 18 u is equal to 20 u is equal to 20 n equal to 13 now you can see over here d equal to 3 a equal to 0 and y is equal to 24 so here given plain text it is converted into numbers because key is given in the metric form and matrix is given uh, some values or we can say some numbers now rule number two two cross two or three cross three key matrix is given for example now you can see over this is two cross two and this is three cross three key matrix rule number three make a group of plain text as per given key matrix size so for example plain text is equal to sunday so how can we make a group if key matrix is 2 cross 2 it means this type of matrix is given so here our uh, plain text is divided into two uh, group of letters so su nd and ay if key matrix is 3 cross 3 then plain text divide into group of three alphabets sun and day because key matrix is 3 cross 3 now each pair of plain text multiply with key matrix rule number 4 multiplication of plain text matrix and keyword matrix generate a new matrix it means there is simple uh, matrix multiplication is there and it generates one resultant matrix so resultant matrix values modulus with 26 because uh, after uh, matrix multiplication we get the value more than 26 so again we have to convert into 0 to 25 because number will be replaced with character so rule number six after modulus 26 matrix values assign characters using rule number one table it generates final cipher text now rules for decryption first one assign a number to each character of the uh, cipher text like a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to 2 as per given table it means same table we have already used in encryption for example cipher text is equal to sunday now each character convert into numbers we have already discussed this in encryption rule next rule number two find the inverse of the given key matrix 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 so key matrix is given during the encryption so find the inverse of that key matrix rule number three make a group of cipher text as per given key matrix size uh, as per the encryption if uh, our cipher text is sunday so now what we have to do if key matrix is 2 cross 2 then cipher text divide into group of two alphabets here su nd and ay if key matrix is 3 cross 3 then cipher text divide into group of three alphabets su and day next rule number four so multiplication of cipher text matrix and inverse keyword matrix generates a resultant matrix so resultant matrix values modulus with 26 so both the rules same as the encryption here 
plain text matrix is replaced with the cipher text matrix and keyword matrix is replaced with the inverse keyword matrix rule number 6 after modulus 26 matrix values assign character using rule number 1 table it generates final plain text so this is the rules for encryption and decryption now we discuss one example uh, here encryption and decryption process example for the hill cipher so here key matrix size is 2 cross 2 first of all example plain text is cd here one plain text is given it is cd and find out the cipher text using hill cipher and again decrypt the cipher text using hill, hill cipher here key matrix is 2 3 3 4 it is already given in the example so how can we find the solution or we can say how can we find the cipher text and again decrypt that cipher text and find the plain text so start with the solution here plain text is equal to cd so cd it is convert into numbers as per the given table so c is equal to 2 and d is equal to 3 now key matrix is 2 3 3 4 it is already given here my plain text is already group of two character no need to divide for the group so here uh, find the multiplication of the plain text and key matrix so this is the key matrix multiply with uh, plain text character so here character is uh, replaced with numbers so 2 3 3 4 multiply by 2 3 so the simplification or we can say the multiplication of this matrix process is uh, shown over here so final value it is uh, 13 and second one is 18 so our resultant matrix is 13 and 18 now next modulus 26 here uh, my resultant matrix 13 and 18 is less than 26 but it is mandatory to modulus 26 if number is more than 26 so again we have to uh, convert into 0 to 25 so modulus 26 is required so here 13 18 now 13 18 is replaced with character here 13 is the n and 18 is the s so this is n s so this is my final ciphertext n s so this is the encryption or we can say find the ciphertext from the given plain text now decrypt the ciphertext so first of all we have to find the inverse key matrix of the given key matrix so find out inverse matrix of the given key matrix so the equation is k inverse is equal to 1 mod k multiply with k adjoint here k is the our given key matrix so here find out the mod k is equal to 2 3 3 4 and the mod is minus 1 so mod k is equal to minus 1 now find the key adjoint key adjoint find uh, using like that here uh, first diagonal uh, numbers with change with each other so here 2 4 it is change the position 4 2 and the second diagonal the sign is change now you can see is uh, there this is 3 3 it is change minus 3 minus 3 now uh, key inverse is equal to 1 mod k multiply with k adjoint so this is the simplification of this equation put the value and this is my inverse matrix now start the decryption process so first of all ciphertext is equal to ns n is equal to 13 and s is equal to 18 as per the given table now this is key inverse matrix now key inverse matrix multiply with ciphertext ns here n and s is replaced with numbers so now you can see over here the n and s is replaced with that number so here multiplication process of the matrix is this is the multiplication process and finally uh, the resultant matrix is 2 3 again modulo 26 here modulo 26 is not required if value is more than 26 then modulus 26 is required so now you can see over here this is the final resultant matrix 2 3 now again convert number into character so 2 is equal to c and 3 is equal to d so plain text is equal to cd so this is the decryption process using 2 cross 2 key matrix next 
encryption process or we can say example of encryption using key matrix 3 cross 3. So first of all, the plain text is bet. Find out ciphertext of given plain text using Hill cipher. Key matrix is given below. Now you can see over here, uh, I take one example of uh, three alphabets. So no need to, uh, we have divide the plain text into groups. So plain text is equal to BAT. Again, we have to uh, letter replace with numbers. So B is equal to one, A is equal to zero, and T is equal to 19. Now multiply this uh, plain text and given key matrix. Now you can see over here, this is the first step. Here BAT replace with the uh, numbers 1, 0 and 19. Now multiply. So the resultant matrix is 20, 21 and 40. Here 40 is greater than 26. So modulus 26 is required. So now it is 20, 21 and 14. Now this numbers uh, replace with character. So finally UVO. Here UVO is the ciphertext of the given plain text. So now exercise. The first exercise is plain text is Sunday. Find out the ciphertext using Hill cipher. Key matrix is equal to 2334. Solution plain text is equal to Sunday. Now character replace with number. So here key matrix is 2 cross 2. So here plain text is uh, there are six letters in the plain text. So now it uh, make a group of uh, two alphabets. So S U N D and A Y. So group wise multiply with key matrix. Now you can see over here. So find out the solution or we can say find out the multiplication of matrix. And what is the cipher text? Write your answer in comment section. Example number two. Plan text is Sunday. Find out the cipher text using Hill cipher and key matrix is 3 cross 3. So the solution. So this is the uh, alphabets convert into numbers as per the given table. Here key matrix is 3 cross 3. Then plan text will make a group of 3. So S U N D A Y because our key matrix is 3 cross 3. So find out the matrix multiplication.